How do I get my website to the top of the organic, non-paid, left-hand side of Google or other search engines? I wish I knew the exact answer to this question. However, it is virtually impossible to know for sure. Google has been reported to change its algorithms more than once a day on how they index websites. In this video, I will explain a few tips to hopefully help improve your overall search engine rankings. Keep in mind, what I tell you could be completely wrong and the next person you talk to could tell you something completely different. I can tell you we've helped clients get on top of Google for their desired keyword phrases using similar techniques I'm going to share with you in this video. To start, I recommend conducting a Google search for some keyword phrases you want to be found for. Take a look at the number of results. Realize you're going to be competing against this number of websites. Next, you want to make sure your website has meta tags. You can easily check your website's meta tags by right clicking on your website and selecting view source. If you need help, you can also go over your meta tags with your existing web designer or contact me for assistance. In addition to the standard meta tags such as the description and keyword tags, you want to also make sure you have the meta tag that tells the search engine robots to index all of your website and not just the home page. And the meta tag that tells the search engine robots to come back to your site every X number of days. We recommend 7 to 21 days. Because the meta tag format can change on an ongoing basis, I'm not going to display the exact meta tag format we are currently using. However, I would be happy to discuss the specific tags with you, or you can talk to your existing web designer. When choosing keyword phrases, keep in mind it is much easier to get on top of the search engines with local or statewide phrases versus more general phrases. For example, football is much more difficult to gain a top spot on Google than football Connecticut. Furthermore, football Waterford Connecticut is easier to get on top of Google than the phrase football Connecticut. Also, make sure you have specific pages of content built around the keyword phrases you want to come up for. For example, if you want to come up for additions and remodels in your area, a page about additions and remodels mentioning your service area is much more effective than just having additions and remodels listed as a bullet point on a general services page. Additionally, make sure your website has a sitemap on the website and also a behind the scenes XML sitemap. Make sure your website has a robots.txt file. Search engines look for both the robots.txt file and XML sitemap to help index your website. If you are unsure if you have either of these, seek out help from a professional or your existing web designer. In addition, make sure the text on your website is text and not displayed as a graphic. Oftentimes, as a web designer, it is helpful to educate our clients that want to come up with greater visibility on the search engines that we need to use simple text which is indexed easier by the search engines versus using fancy graphical text that is typically not indexed as easily. Again, text is much easier for search engines to index than graphics. Obviously, it is okay to have your logo displayed as a graphic versus simple text. With CSS, we can make simple text look much better than just plain Arial or Times New Roman while not sacrificing our chances of being indexed by the search engine robots. The most effective web design balances the overall look and functionality of the website. It is important for you to know both sides of the functional aspect and technical aspect before making your decision on how you want your site to look to your visitors and the search engine robots. Less use of Flash is recommended. While Google has started indexing Flash websites, it is much easier for the search engine robots to index HTML-based websites. Moreover, talk to your designer about using H1, H2, and other tags within the framework of your website to improve your overall ranking. These tags tell the search engines, hey, this information is very important. Be sure to use unique titles throughout your website and integrate various keywords and keyword phrases into the titles. Additionally, naming pages with keyword phrases can also help improve your search engine ranking versus just naming pages 1.html, 2.html, and so on. So far, I've discussed things you can do on your website to improve your search engine ranking. This is called on-site optimization. 
Additionally, I want to discuss off-site optimization, things you can do off of your website to improve your website's ranking. Think about this from a search engine robot perspective. The robots are trying to index web websites to provide the best results to its users. Not all, but a lot of websites have meta tags and are optimized on-site fairly well. How can the search engines index the sites to show the better sites first without actually physically looking at each site? The answer lies in off-site optimization. Off-site optimization involves using websites outside of your websites to help improve your overall website ranking. For example, adding videos to YouTube can also help with your search engine ranking. People are going to YouTube more and more. If you reference your website from YouTube, Google and other search engines will see this. I'm sure you've noticed Google is now sometimes displaying videos in their standard search engine results. People love video. Second, having quality websites which link into your website will help improve your website ranking. The more quality the website is that is linked into your website, the better. It is extremely important that you understand that the higher quality of the websites linking into your website will improve your overall search engine rankings. Think about this. If we take two websites, one website that has only 10 links coming into it and another website that has a thousand links coming into it, the search engine robots will see which site has more links coming into it and say, wow, this site with a thousand links coming into it, meaning a thousand other websites are telling me to go check out this site, must be a better site than the one with only 10 links coming into it. In short, the robot ranks the site with a thousand links much higher than the site with only 10 links coming into it. Keep in mind, just having your website linked from non-quality websites such as a link farm can be very detrimental to your website ranking. Hence, this is why I emphasize the quality of the websites linking into your website is very important. There are free press release websites out there where you can post articles and link to your website. This is a good place to start adding external links into your existing website. Also, it may not be as important today, but probably sooner than later, having an active presence on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media sites that link into your website will certainly help with your search engine ranking. Keep in mind, Google is already starting to index Twitter feeds right into their standard search engine results. Again, going back to how search engine robots will index which sites are better than the others, a simple metric could be the sites that are active and tie into social media sites will rank higher than the sites not involved with social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter. These are just a few of the methods of how to use off-site optimization to help improve your search engine ranking. I urge you to discuss both the on-site optimization and off-site optimization techniques discussed in this video with your existing web designer or I'd be happy to discuss them with you further. Until next time, I am James Nicholas. Remember, great health before wealth, wishing you the very best with your marketing and business endeavors.